Hi, loves. I miss you guys. Kind of close. Let's back that up some. So, guys are new. Please subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff for me. So today, I'm doing a hair tutorial of me doing a closure and a full weave. And I haven't done a closure in a while. So, wish me luck. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm gonna explain everything as I'm going, just in case someone wants to do it. It's real easy. I did the simplest way I can do, because I don't like confusion. I try to keep it so that it's understandable. Okay, so get your pen and paper, and write down some notes. All right, let's go on this journey. But, just so that you guys know, I do not like doing closures. I will not attempt to, uh, um, what you call the frontal. That is not me <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's just too much. <sighs> I, just, I just can't, it's just, it's just too much. Just give me the so weave, like I've been doing in my days at my salon, leave out here, or just do a full sew-in. That's me. Okay? So let's go. Now. So getting started, I do a three section. Since she's wearing her part in the middle, I part down the middle, then I part from ear to ear. So I have three sections, one on each side and then the back. So I like to do my first two braids nice and close to the edge. I'm not using any extra hair for her edges because she's already having a problem with her edges. So I'm just gonna use her own hair and braid it as tight as I can without hurting her or pulling the hair. So I also always grease the scalp. I'm just using a regular Vaseline on her scalp so that it does not be dry. And I'm gonna do the second braid, as you see. Just braid it down. These are all going to go down, connected at the end for now until I get to the back. So this is her second braid. She has a little breakage um and on her hair so we don't want to stress it too much i'm also going to use a net afterwards so as you see i'm just greasing and braiding along this is a simple pattern straight down from where the part is and all the way around i like to have sections because it gives you a balance and you know where you're at so I'm gonna continue this going down. And now that I am in the back, I'm not gonna connect it straight across once I finish this braid right here. So when I do the next braid, I'm connecting the end going up into that braid so that it gives an up and down type pattern, as you see. See, so yeah, I just take the braid and put it up to the length that it is and then continue braiding that braid down and this is the pattern you will get now if the hair is longer you will start it up higher okay so that you don't have a big bulk at the end so now her hair is completely braided as you guys can see and you can also see my sections I'm gonna place the net on I'm having her hold the front down and I'm gonna start at the back of where the part is right here so i'm gonna start here take it down take it around <clears throat> just a nice little loop on each braid it does not have to be a lot of um sewing you could do big stitches but i just say to when you get to the front just make sure your stitches are a little closer because this is where the tension is going to be mostly Okay, so I'm just gonna take this around 
as you see, as I'm going, I'm knotting each one also, so that helps the thread stays tight. Okay? And be gentle and do not stick your client in the head, people. Okay? I think I did stick her once. <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> anyway, she forgave me. So I continue doing this all the way around until I am done. And when you sew the back, you braid in it on that bottom braid that I have going across. Okay? You're gonna take this around the ear. That's why I say you connect your braids at the end so that you can sew this straight across as you see I'm doing right now. Okay, guys? And you just continue this until you are done. Okay, now we're gonna put the closure on. When you're placing the closure, you're placing it over the party. Okay, and a little, a little smidge over her hairline. Now I'm gonna just sew down the sides, but I'm doing the edge part first. Okay, so I'm going up to where the closure is, and I bring that stitch down like a half an inch. And I'm checking to make sure that it's at the part where the middle part is. Right, so I'm just sewing the sides on each side of the closure, not the back and not the front yet. I'm gonna do those last. Placing the closure, I advise you to hold down the one side with another needle while you sew the other side down. Okay, now I do a double stitch. I go up to the front, I mean to the back, front to back and then I take it back to the front just for security and when you do the other side you're going to pull with a little tension so that it is holding down flat okay remember that so I have the both sides sewn down nice and firmly I'll do the back as I get closer with the sewing part of the hair, and then I'll do the front last. All right, let's see if we can do some magic. Voila! No, wait, hold on. Abaca, no, okay. Abaca, uh, no, okay, I guess I got to sew it. Okay, when I'm sewing, I don't like to cut the width too much, so I just take it back and forth, as you see. And I'll continue. I'm getting there. So now I'm at more at the front of her edges. So I did cut it because I don't want the front to look bulky. Her edges to look bulky with the double. So I kind of cut it to put one a little farther back from the other one so that could be more thinner in the front. Y'all see my struggle. And I use a straight needle. A lot of people use the round needle now, but I myself like the straight needle. The round needle just gets away from me, but use what's comfortable for you. And see how I'm knotting? I wanna show you guys, you have to knot your thread once in a while, either all the time or once in a while. It's good to knot it. So I'm up close to the top, almost at the back of the closure. And I continue taking this around. And yes, I do have the hair doubled. Now I'm at the very top. And now I'm gonna finish this up by closing up the back of the closure, meeting the last track by kissing <laughs> them together. And then we will be completed. This was good. Okay. And Tyra's over here to give me a helping hand <laughs> and tell us a funny story, of course. That's my child, Tyra's glam, guys. Okay, so we're gonna close this up now and I am done, guys. It was so simple, not that hard at all. 
And I want to say thank you, Tyra Glam, for coming over to make sure I got Brie looking right. Guys, I'm so sorry. I thought the camera was recording the very front part. It wasn't on. Ah. So anyway, with the help of Tyra, this is what you would do to complete the front. What you would do is, from the closure, make a little parting, let that hair out, let her hold it, and just sew in between that parting onto the braids that are there. That's it. That's how simple. But I go back and forth. I do it here, then I go back and do it again. Make sure you pull it with tension so that it lays flat. That's all you have to do. So what you would do is make a little parting, little here, let her hold it, sew, back and forth, invisible sewing, okay? Just in and out, in and out, in and out, like a double, and then go back to the other side. So that's tight. That's it. Sorry again, let's continue. And then after you finish your whole weave and closure and all that extra stuff, <laughs> you're gonna style her hair. So she's wearing her straight as it is, but I'm gonna still flat iron it to give it that extra shine and make sure that her edges are blended and the top is nice and flat. Spray a little um, shine um, spray on it for that oil look, but not oily. And she's gonna be on her way. So continue watching. I did pretty well and it will get better I did pluck her a little bit on the party give Brie a congratulations on her engagement guys and she's going now to take her engagement pictures okay guys that's that I hope you guys liked it I had fun doing it I try to make it as simplistic as possible for anyone that's doing a closure for the first time or wanting to try them um, I'm not a fan of them at all. I do like doing my sew weaves and leave outs and full weaves. That's me. Everybody has their um, thing that they like the most. Okay, but that was fun. I would do it again because now I got it down packed. Okay, it's very easy. It's not as hard as you think it might be. It's very easy if you do everything in steps. I'm a step girl. So drop me some comments, drop me some thumbs up, some love. I mean, some thumbs up, some love, and all that good stuff, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my Halloween one next. I'll see you on the next vlog. Come party with me on the next vlog. I'm Valerie. Come party with me on my next vlog. Oh, and I got these twisted up, but I'm going to take them out for Halloween. Because they was getting, like, wild. Hi guys, bye bye. Bye.